Right, welcome to another Diorama Debris offering. Now this is going to be a very quick review because uh, there's not much to show you actually. We'll start off from the top. This is from Diorama Debris. It's 135th scale. This is a stone lintel and sill for a 12 mil wide wall. The mold number is 135025. Produced in the UK by RJ Nice. Now I'll take the bag away. And as you can see, it's quite a beefy mould. It's got a lot of texture in the, in the back there. And it produces four, well, two lintels and two sills. Now the top one here is a lintel, which is 12 mil wide and a hundred mil long and it's 5.59 thickness. The next one is the actual sill. Now that's 100 mil long, 12 mil wide, and that is four mil wide. Then we move on to this one. Now this one is exactly the same, 100 mil long, but this is 14 mil wide, and uh, the same <laughs> thickness. And then we've got another one here, this is the sill, and that again is 14 mil wide, 100 mil long, 4 mil thick. And so you've got two lintel, uh, well, you've got a lintel and a sill, just a little bit bigger, and then you've got the two 12 mil ones. Uh, I don't know the reason why uh, they've done it that way, uh, but sometimes it is a bit handier, especially if you uh, touch out with your wall. To have that little bit of extra width on the lintel. That's the only thing I can think of anyway. So like I say there's some lovely texture in there inside there. It's textured inside and out. It is really a very beefy mould and it does take quite a bit of casting material up. So what I'm going to do is put you on pause, reposition the camera and we'll have a look at the parts. Okay, now these are the lintels, and as you can see, they have really got some beautiful texture in them. They really do look nice. I'm quite impressed with these actually. Now, the simple reason I bought these was because I've already got the blocks, and these will come in very useful for over the top of windows and bits and pieces like that. But they are some really nice lintels, as lintels go. As you can see, it's got texture in all the way, well, on three sides. And the back half is where we pour, so that will be facing up to the blocks. So, a really nice little lintel. Other applications, there's going to be other applications for this. Uh, off the top of my head, uh, you could actually use this on a wall to, uh, to cap a wall off, it would look really nice. And then put fill some small holes in there and put railings on. Uh, I did actually do a little uh, wall like that on, well, it's actually on my uh, page. It's the uh, photograph at the top. But I actually used curve edges for that, but uh, this would look even better. So it might be something I might be uh, playing around with. But all in all, an extremely nice little part. And these will be used in a build very soon, sometime this year. Uh, I'm pleased to say that I'm coming to the end of my reviews now of the moulds. Because uh, I have four more moulds to review. And that will be it. I've got all the moulds that I need to do my projects through the year. So I would like to say thank you very much for joining me and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.